Microsoft PowerPoint's image insertion feature makes it simple and quick to add graphics to your presentations, but you don't want to skip over one important step, and that is giving credit where credit is due. You can reference images in PowerPoint through citations, which give presentation viewers more details about what they're looking at and also serve as some due diligence on your part. Before you can cite images in PowerPoint, you need to insert them properly. You can begin by starting the Microsoft PowerPoint, then click one of the two text box placeholders on the slide and press the delete key. Repeat to delete the other text box. Technically, these won't show up on your slide, but they just get in the way. And to insert the image you want to cite, click the Insert tab, then click the Picture button below the tab. Navigate to the picture you want to cite, and double-click the image or insert in on the slide. Just remember that if you upload your own images or videos, you do not need to cite the images if they are yours, such as if you drew it or took the picture, and your image is not an adaptation of someone else's work. Meanwhile, Stock Images is a new feature. These images are licensed by Microsoft from Getty and perhaps other sources that can be used in presentation by PowerPoint users. However, the general advice is that you can use the stock images in your presentations in pretty much any way you choose, including ones that generate revenue. The pictures, however, cannot be sold as images. The Creative Commons images, as you already know, is a different story. For those, you'd have to check the licensing separately. You should also presume that the image is copyrighted and you must give credit for it. Even if the image is copyright and royalty-free, you should identify the creator and where you got it. For example, image created by Olivia Lee. Retrieve from this URL. If you use an image with a Creative Commons license, make sure to properly attribute the image according to the specific license. And when providing credit for the image, Try to determine who owns the copyright of the image versus simply citing the website where you found it. Just because an image is on someone's website or blog doesn't mean that you can also use this image copyright free. If you found this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. You may also click and turn on the notification bell so you can be notified from whenever we release new videos.